fucking amazing shit that he's ever experienced. And I was like, dude. The hand helper. I was like, dude, I need to fucking go there. Well, we're here. Yeah. And you can't just go unless you have a reason to go. And yeah. Now, we're fucking here. Woo! Canton Fair, Canton Fair. Today's yeah. the first day of the Canton Fair. Yeah. Ding, 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 ding. Yeah. Ding, ding, ding. First time, probably not the last. Uh, it's a great day here in China. Hey, hey. Let's go look at some stuff inside. We're gonna make some great deals. Make some deals. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be huge. I'm official as a whistle, guys. First timer. Here is one big, like, open lobby hall, and I guess you figure out where to go from here based on what industry or what you're looking for. So it's gonna be an adventure. Crazy that four years ago we didn't even know this city existed. Now we're here. Hey. Uh, so for those of you who don't know because 90% of you are not subscribers. Uh, you know, when someone asked me, a guy asked me the, yesterday, the Swiss guy, like, how'd you get into this? How are you here? Why are you here? And here's my little spiel. It really started with travel as our goal. We took a two week vacation in 2013 out to Thailand, kind of caught the travel bug. So we wanted to figure out a way to live abroad for a year, have that live abroad experience, teach English, work at a hotel or something like that. So we started watching a lot of YouTube and that's how we found uh, Johnny FD on YouTube, amongst other digital nomads, kind of living in Thailand, just chilling, working for the laptop, doing e-commerce. And basically that's how we got into e-commerce, through watching YouTube and seeing what was possible. So Johnny was that guy, so we went out to Chiang Mai and that's how it all got started. Two years later, we've been doing Amazon selling for two years and uh, now we're finally here to, I guess, take it to the next level. We find new products and we're visiting our uh, existing factory in a couple days. So yeah, that's how we got here, man. Started with watching YouTube, crazy. And all of you that are People when they message me and tell me that they're getting started in e-commerce because of watching these videos and other videos, it's super dope. So, come along. And we got Danny with us again today. Chinese Danny. And like I said from the last vlog, uh, me and Parker have been in contact with her for like over a year. And uh, also another thing you should probably understand about me if you don't know me is uh, I'm kind of a low-key technology geek. I remember when I got my first mp3 player in middle school, it had an mp3 microphone and I started to record everything at school. Like record pranks, do little interviews and we used to burn them on CDs and edit them and make little funny comedy skits and sell those CDs at school. So I've always been into technology and so I'm going to be geeking out here during this technology tourism. What the fuck? She said, thank you for 122 Canton Fair. And by the way, this is twice a year. It's also in April and October. This, this is the modern day boombox. It's a rolling speaker. I like that. Oh, this is the fucking built-in speaker and mixer. And what about this guy? How much? This one is uh, 12K US dollars. Okay. 2,000. 12,000 US dollars? Yeah. 12,000 or 2,000? 12,000 12, US dollars. What? So, okay. What is what does he do? This is a receptionist. Oh, receptionist. Yes, he will attend you and uh, send the person message. Someone is here to see you for office or hospital. Oh my gosh! That's a twelve thousand dollar receptionist right there, but only one time, not per year, right? I tell you, I love the new uh, roll-up pianos and drum kits. Super sick, I want one. Someone give me one. So what's the price for this one? 206. 206 US dollars? Yes. 260. Yes. Wholesale price? Yes. Wholesale price can be lower. How much, uh, like for a thousand, we buy a thousand. 
uh, that is uh, still more than 200. More than 200. We need to go up, maybe, maybe 220 or something. So like I said, I'm very, uh, I follow technology, I follow exponential technology and all that stuff. So in 10 years, 3D printing is going to be in almost every home. And in my, our generation, there's going to be a major, major 3D printing manufacturing boom where we, every day we make new things that we need. Whether it's clothes, whether it's electronics, whether it's simple forks and spoons, we'll be able to 3D print it in our home. So within this generation, within the next 50 years, 3D printing is gonna have an exponential impact. It's gonna get crazy. Especially when it moves into nano fabrication, that's when it really takes off. You can watch YouTube videos on it, but when we are able to print things at the nano molecular level, that's when the world really, really gets crazy. And it's happening. It's not science fiction. All right, look at this drone. We got DJI here. Authorized dealers wanted. Dude! Holy shit! This is the DJI. DJI crazy, crazy shit. What is this? Uh, agricultural tool. Agricultural. So that was DJI's uh, agricultural drone. You fly it over the field, you can drop chemicals, fertilizer, and I don't know, yeah, it's just. Authorized dealers wanted. Who wants to be a dealer? If you thought the last drone was big, look at this one. Woo! Skywalker. Wow. And uh, what's the price for this? USD. Oh, six thousand dollars. Wow. <laughs> beast six thousand dollar plus drone wow agricultural again money counters yeah we need some money machine baby chicka chicka choo oh ho -ho. yeah buddy Oh. Quantity. Quantity. Eighty-seven. Virtual reality. Wow. <laughs> Virtual reality for kids? Yeah, and this for adults. You can try it. Oh, adults. It's horrible. It's horrible. Yeah. What do you mean it's horrible? <laughs> you tried it and you know. Okay. We got a one, two on the street. Free coffee, free coffee. Oh, that's really good. You gotta love the Canton Fair. Free espresso so you can stay jacked. Woo! We got the Bukit de <laughs> Downstairs, they just had the biggest McDonald's I've ever seen in my life. Make sure to follow me on Snapchat and Instagram so you can see all the behind the scenes BTS. We got a coffee shop, There's some work, office of the day. Hey there, shopaholics. Hey, hey, you guys. Hey, hey. I'm starving. Well, guys, that was uh, first day at Canton Fair. It was cool. Talked to a lot of people and stuff. Scouted around. Basically, just shopped and see what they had. See if we maybe want to come by next year. Good stuff. Click the link in the description for more info on tips and tricks on when you come. Uh, I'll, I'll do a blog post on what you should know before you come and, and tips. Look at that building right there. Oh. Bye bye. Watch the other China videos. I got two weeks of vlogs coming coming up. We got Tokyo vlogs coming up. Links in the description. Thanks for watching. Please.